It is time for our big stat. We did not have to dig very deep for this one today. 92,003 on hand last night for the Huskers volleyball matchup with Omaha, a new world record for a women's sporting event. Everyone taking notice, and I do mean everyone. Magic Johnson saying, quote, there are so many people dressed in all red on the Big Ten Network. I'm blown away. And then Magic shouting out Husker fans. If for some reason you did not see it, here's what it looked like. An event that has been in the planning stages since last spring, pulled off to absolute perfection. Huskers fans showing out as they always do. The performance was perfect too. Nebraska breezing by Omaha in straight sets. John Cook and his team providing and getting the memory of a lifetime. Yeah, you're gonna make me cry right now. I mean, this is unbelievable for women's athletics to do this in Nebraska. You know, we've, we've, done, we've dreamed big here tonight. We really dream big. And, and uh, again, I think Kennedy Ward wrote me a note today and said, Coach, t- tonight we'll do the impossible will be possible. We did it. <laughs> our, our people did an unbelievable job setting the stadium up. I had no idea how much work goes into this. And they deserve a ton of credit. We got a great team here. I know I asked this before, but when you said offhandedly, maybe we'll do it at Memorial Stadium, can you believe you're here at this point now? No, I, I still can't. I, I feel like we're at a rock concert or something. And the, the fans are fired up tonight. I mean, this is a party. It's awesome. It really is a celebration, not just of Nebraska volleyball, but volleyball in Nebraska. I think so. And, and you got to give credit to ne- Nebraska, Omaha, and Wayne State and Kearney. But you're right. It's NAI, it's high school, it's club, it's Creighton. We got a lot of great volleyball in this state. And you're right. This was a celebration day for all the, all the great players. It was so awesome seeing all the alumni here. I've never seen that many alumni before. It was unbelievable. I mean, I was really just trying to stay like in the moment and stay present and soak it all in. And I mean, I was super excited. So I mean, I couldn't just hold a serious face. Like I just wanted to show everyone kind of how happy I was and how excited I was and yeah it was a crazy emotions that's for sure that tunnel walk I mean it's incredible I don't have enough words to describe it coming in we knew that there were at least 95,000 people there and then when our team we were walking out of the huddle or we were walking out of the tunnel after the second set and we had heard on the speaker that we had just broken the world record and I know everyone was trying to stay locked in but we were also so excited so we were celebrating in the tunnel walking out because it's just incredible and I can't describe like just how grateful I am to be a part of it and be a part of Husker Nation and just their support. It is time for our big interview. Erin Sorensen was part of it last night as well. She's been covering Nebraska for years. She's with Counter Reed. Erin, describe the scene last night from your point of view. Well, just seeing John Cook and seeing that interview again, I was almost about ready to start crying. Um, I had to hold back tears a number of times last night because the environment was just, I, I keep saying indescribable because I try to describe it and I'm not sure I'll ever accurately be able to put it into words. It was just an unbelievable experience, not only as um, somebody who got to be there, but just to know what this means for uh, volleyball as a sport, but also for women's sports in general. I just, I had to take a moment and look around just a number of times to really soak it in because we've been talking about this for months and to see it really come to fruition and so much could have gone wrong and everything just went so right. It just, I, I couldn't believe it. And I, I don't think I will be parting with the feelings that I have right now for a very long time. It's, it's easily one of the most surreal, incredible moments of my career to date. So I can't even imagine how the players are feeling right now, just kind of soaking that all in a day later. You mentioned all the planning that went into it. And I think after seeing an event like that pulled off so flawlessly, there is a natural question of how did they do this? So you spoke with Trev Alberts, the AD, give us some insight into how this went from conception to execution. Oh, you know, when I spoke with him, it was just outside the window of when we were able to start seeing what the, you know, the 14 day forecast would look like. And the anticipation of that was significant. And I just remember his, there was, you could just tell 
you're trying to let things just kind of roll off your back and you let what let what will what will be be but it's hard when you're thinking of all of the things that could like i said go wrong and um he you know Nebraska had to go through a lot of things to make this possible. A lot of people don't realize that Memorial Stadium, like all football stadiums, is at a slant for water runoff. So that way water doesn't pool on a football field. So they had to plan that out. How were they going to make sure that this stage was level and it was even? But the thing that Trev said, when his coaches come to him with ideas, he never wants to be the no person. He wants to be the how can we make it happen person. And that was really his big thing here was we have a lot of really smart people at this university in this state and beyond. So I'm not going to say no. Let's figure it out. Let's figure out how we make this possible. So it was the testing the stage after graduation last spring to see if they could make this possible or if they had to rework things. It was having to kind of adjust to the sport court and humidity and every little piece of it. But he felt really confident at the time just before that two-week forecast came out that unless it was pouring rain, Nebraska had everything in place to make this go off without a hitch, and they certainly did. We saw snippets there from John Cook and a couple of his players. How would you gauge the impact that this had on them? I, I, there was moments where Becca Alec walked out of the the tunnel and her hands immediately went to her mouth. She was just in disbelief. And I think that was really where all of us were is just in disbelief. But you could see how much this meant to see the support. You, you know what Big Ten volleyball is. You know what Nebraska volleyball is. The support is just incredible. But to, to now have 92,003 people in that stadium setting a world record and doing so in seats that – some of them couldn't even really see the court all that well, but you were really there just because it was an experience and an opportunity to support these young women. I, I can't even imagine what this will do for recruiting, but I think it extends even far beyond Nebraska. I think that this is such a testament for the Big Ten for women's volleyball and women's athletics. I just, I, it's so hard to put that into words. I, I want you to try to do that, to elaborate on that. Yes. Like, what do you think that this means for Big Ten <gasps> volleyball? What do you think this means for girls who grow up dreaming of playing on a big stage. I mean, to kind of see that something like this is possible. I think about how I felt about just, I think about myself growing up as a, a, as a young woman and looking for role models or opportunities. And I always say, if you see it, you can be it. You can believe that that is an opportunity for you. And can you imagine all of the little girls across this across the United States and across the world this morning who woke up and said, 92,000 people will show up and support me. Like that is an unbelievable, that is just an unbelievable thing that will just change not only the sport of volleyball, but we're going to see this with basketball, potentially softball, and hopefully beyond. I, I just, it makes the possibilities truly endless. And I saw the eyes of the little girls in the stands last night. And I just think, what a testament. What what will they have? When we look back on this moment in 20, 20 to 30 years, how many of those little, little girls are going to say, this was the moment that changed things for me? And that is something that I'm really excited to hear about because I imagine that some dreams just got a lot bigger last night. Really well said, Aaron. It's hard to kind of put this event behind us. And as you say, it's always going to be there and we're always going to think about it. But there is a season ahead for Nebraska, and Nebraska volleyball comes with expectations. It's a program that's won five national championships. How well equipped do you think this particular team is to win one this year? They certainly have the talent. That is the one thing this freshman, this incoming freshman class is just an absolute, just superstars. They, they obviously have a lot of, you know, little things to work out. This offense is certainly not perfect. The defense is looking pretty good, but this is a seniorless team. They don't have any super seniors, any seniors at all. It's a, it's a young team, but it's not young in leadership because John Cook has been bringing in really top level recruiting classes that play very early. So you have juniors who are in their third year of playing. So that is a great thing, but they also are still having to work together, find that kind of just that gel. And, you know, if you can't he John Cook has even said it, you can't take non-conference non-conference play for granted any longer. Not that you necessarily would have in the past, but maybe you try new things, test new things. Every match truly counts, especially when you're getting ready to go into Big Ten play, because the Big Ten is like playing a national championship every 
single weekend, no one is going to give you an easy route to the Big Ten title or to get into the NCAA tournament. And no doubt, talking about the only league that's had three different teams reach number one over the last five years, obviously Nebraska included among them. We know they won't be lacking for crowd support this year in Lincoln. What a scene again last night. Aaron Sorensen, thank you so much for taking some time and helping put us put it in perspective for us. Thank you. I appreciate it.